Okay, this is Dr. Carl Farinelli, and uh, appreciate those of you who made it for this optional live session. Uh, we'll try to do another one of these on week nine of this 16-week session when um, this class officially begins. So I think I have uh, an event that I have to be at Monday and Tuesday, so we might either plan a uh, optional live session either Wednesday or Thursday or maybe Monday of, uh, or Tuesday of the following week, uh, week 10. So I'll just have to check on the availability of rooms, see which students might be interested in having an optional live session, see if we can either do a Zoom or a ITV uh, hookup or if I need to plan to be at more than one campus, which would mean we do it over a couple of days. Okay, so first question you had was about the sessions. Okay, so listen very carefully. Uh, I'll try to make this simple. Hope I don't make it too complex. Stop me if I do. But in an eight week session, instead of a uh, session lasting a full week, usually those are Monday through Thursday, you usually have those assignments in by Thursday midnight. Now to be honest, I always extend the week for those who need it through Sunday midnight uh, on sessions one through 15. Now 16, I can't do that because session 16, I have to have my grades in that Friday. So I have to have everything in by Thursday night at midnight on session 16. But otherwise, I do extend sessions through Sunday for those who need the extra time without any penalty. So let's talk about in a 16 weeks, in a 16 week session, a session lasts a week. In a eight week section, uh, eight week version of this course, a session lasts two days. There's a Monday, Tuesday session, there's a Wednesday, Thursday session. But as I said, I do allow you to extend both of those through Sunday if you need to. Don't make a habit of that because it's not fair to your fellow scholars to not be able to respond to your postings or have the benefit of what you post. And so if you do that too much, I will call your hand on it. But if you have a good reason and you need to extend it, you have a really busy week, uh, you could extend both sessions for a week. Remember in an eight week session, you have two uh, sessions in a week in, a, in the uh, eight week version of this course. So you could extend that through Sunday for those two sessions. So to make that simple, the odd number, you know, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, 11, 12, no, 11, 13, 15, that would be the Monday, Tuesday sessions. Then the even numbered ones, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16, those would be the Wednesday, Thursday sessions. So is that confusing? You got that? Okay, good, good. So um, if you get confused on this, look at the course calendar. I think uh, there is a, a eight week version of the course calendar on the new Blackboard for your class. And there's also one on the welcome page. So look at those, check them out, make sure that, that they have been updated that it's not the old 16 week or the summer one, that would really confuse you. It's the four week version where we cover a week every day, four days a week. But for the eight week version of this course, we cover the odd number sessions on Monday and Tuesday with the work being due midnight Tuesday and the even numbered sessions are Wednesday and Thursday with the work being due midnight Thursday. I will give you the right to extend on um, up through uh, week, the uh, session number, whatever session comes for this class, that would be week 15. But the, that last week when you have sessions 15 and 16, um, I can't let you extend that one through Sunday. Everything has to be in by that last Thursday for the last two sessions. So 
if I didn't confuse you on that, uh, this would actually be a great project for that first 10 point posting. So let's look at the first week. Uh, if you open up your calendars, if you look at the calendars on uh, the Blackboard site, there's a calendar that looks like this. It has all 16 sessions. There's Monday, Tuesday of week one, Wednesday and Thursday. There's week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, and week eight. Uh, two sessions at a time. So if you look at that, uh, look at the first week, those first two right there. So those first two uh, for our first week, this semester, uh, this is the fall semester of 2017, so the eight-week session begins actually on week nine. Your first week is week number nine of the 16-week session. So session number one, which is Monday and Tuesday, the work is due by midnight Tuesday, session number one, you are going to write for your first 10 points, this is the only 10-point posting that doesn't follow the 10-point format. It's just a three-paragraph short self-introduction, an autobiography of you. So in that, you're going to basically, in that autobiography, tell us, number one, where you've been. You know, that could be where you grew up, where you went to high school, uh, where you got your bachelor's that sort of thing. Uh, anything you consider important about yourself that you want to say, write a paragraph about that. Where you are now, so that could be you know, where you live, where you work, uh, which degree you're working on now, and where you would like to be, say in two to five years, when you finish this degree or this certification. So where you would like to be. I'll just put like to be. So what do you want to do with uh, your career once you have your master's or if you're in a certification plan once you have your certification completed? Uh, that's the three things. And that kind of lets your fellow scholars know what your plans are because, you know, you, you may be hiring one of these other people from your class or they may be hiring you at some point. So it's good to make those connections now. You're networking, right? So this is a good chance to network. So that's due at the end of session one, midnight Tuesday of, of the first week. And then session two, so that's Wednesday and Thursday of week nine, our first week. And so if you look at session two, it says that your first 10 point posting is due. Well, you got 10 points for this short autobiography, but from, from here on, you've got to follow the 10-point format that I, that I give you on, uh, in your syllabus in the rubric. And it basically, you take any topic, an idea, and you tell it the source. So, like today, you could choose... Um, the eight-week format as your idea. I mean, everybody could post on that. And your source could either be the calendar that I've given you online, or you could use this video as your source. And then number two, give a definition. So in your own words, or you know, you can borrow it from the definition that's on Blackboard, but basically that we cover two sessions a week, one session on Monday and Tuesday, and the second session on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, number three, you have to provide a second outside source. So I'll make that one really easy for you. If you use the calendar from Blackboard as your first source, you could use this video as your second source. You've got two sources there, right? Number four, tell why you like that idea. You know, what it is about that idea that's good for you. You know, why, uh, well, you know, I mean, you could simply say, you know, how you will use it. 
So you may not like taking a 16 week course in eight weeks, but you might want to get it out of the way this semester and not have to wait to take this course later. You may like the fact that it's all online. So tell why it's useful to you in your life. So here you're getting into Bloom's higher order thinking skills. You're having to get creative, you're having to evaluate, you're having to analyze and synthesize, right? And then five, give us a creative idea, a discussion point. So create or evaluate so you might tell uh, there how you are going to do a calendar of this class. Maybe you're going to take the calendar that I gave to you online and you're going to go into your calendar and look at the exact dates and put those on there. Uh, you might want to make sure that in the weeks that we have left, that there are enough weeks left before finals week. Uh, probably. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you found it, that there's an extra week in there. Is that Thanksgiving? So that gives you a nice bit of flexibility. You could either post two sessions during Thanksgiving, or even one, if you want to get one or two sessions ahead, and then you could finish everything else up a week early, or you could look down there on those final two sessions, which are pretty busy, and decide to give yourself an extra week to do those final two sessions. So you have some flexibility since you've discovered that, right? Good, good, okay. So, you know, uh, be creative. Come up with something that fits you. So does this make sense? So there's your first 10-point posting if you want to use this idea. I'll, I'll see if I can do a close-up of that. Come up to this. I don't know if that's going to show up very well online or not. I hope that that is readable on your screen. So, I'm going to stop the video for this first discussion and hope that we've gotten you through those first two sessions. You know, all of week nine, which is your first week, the Monday, Tuesday session right here, and the Wednesday, Thursday session right here. And remember that I allow you to have through Sunday. Uh, to get either or both of these done if for some reason you get behind, especially that first week, week nine, you know, it's kind of tough to come up to speed. So if you need some extra time there, I will not count any points off as long as you get it in by Sunday night. And I can do that every week except finals week. I can't give you that extra time. Everything during finals week has to be in by midnight Wednesday, that final week. Questions? Okay. Well, thank you very much.